years now. The AIDS epidemic was one of the deadliest in modern day history. In the early years of the disease, a positive diagnosis was considered a death sentence. Thankfully, today with antiretroviral treatments, those that are HIV positive are living full and relatively healthy lives. But as 23ABC's Josh Sanders tells us, there's a medication doctors are recommending for their patients that can prevent HIV altogether. Josh? Yeah, good evening, Jessica and Tim. This medication was first approved in 2012 by the Food and Drug Administration. It's the first ever HIV prevention strategy, and doctors are saying not only can this pill prevent someone from getting HIV, but they're saying for places like Kern County, where there's a high number of STD rates, uh, it could indirectly help bring those numbers down. My friends have been dying since the early 80s. My friends, acquaintances, you know, people I went to school with. It's something that, that um, really impacted my life, HIV AIDS. Robert Peterson experienced the loss of friends and loved ones during the early days of the AIDS epidemic. So in 2015, for peace of mind, he started taking a little blue pill called Truvada. Finally, we had something and it was just almost too good to be true. Truvada, also known as PrEP, stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. And this pill, when taken once a day, can prevent the contraction of HIV. Family physician and HIV specialist Dr. Frank Lang has been treating the disease for 20 years in Kern County. If they take the pill every day, they will um, have a between a 96 and 99 percent chance of never getting the virus. So, I mean, that's a really impactful thing. Truvada was approved by the Food and Drug Administration in 2012. Licensed therapist Damon Jacobs travels around the country advocating for the use of the drug. He says PrEP is a first of its kind. Pre-exposure prophylaxis PrEP is for any person 18 or over in the United States who is at potential risk of acquiring HIV. That includes any man, any woman, for any reason, sexual or IV drug use. According to the CDC, people in high-risk categories of contracting HIV includes one in four sexually active gay and bisexual men as well as one in 200 sexually active heterosexual adults. According to the Kern County Department of Public Health, the county has some of the highest sexually transmitted diseases in the state. And although PrEP only prevents contracting HIV, research shows it may help reduce those STD rates. Because in order to take the drug, you must have a full blood panel completed by a physician. Officials say that blood work may identify other STDs the person may have not known they had. If we're testing more often because we're giving somebody PrEP, we're finding more diseases, people can, you know, make the false association that uh, the PrEP must have led to the other STDs. And in reality, what you're doing is getting more unknown disease found. And so that's a, um, an important uh, byproduct of, I think, what PrEP is doing in society right now. Another misconception is that PrEP is only for gay and bisexual men, a sentiment shared by Dr. Lang, who says HIV has no sexual orientation. The more somebody might be at risk, uh, the, the more important it is somebody be on the medicine. But the reality is, is that anybody can be at risk. If you're having uh, sex at all, you can uh, get infected with HIV. Martha Warner Jarrett is one of those people. Yeah, I've been working yesterday and today on a on a blog post. I am a blogger on Pause Magazine, if you know what that is. Jarrett found out she was HIV positive almost three years ago. She says she never engaged in any risky behavior, so the diagnosis was a total shock. I have since learned a whole lot about HIV AIDS and come to the inescapable conclusion that I got it from my late husband. Jarrett's husband died in 2009 of what doctors say was double pneumonia. However, she believes his pneumonia was related to AIDS. If I could go back and not have HIV, but lose all the stuff that I've gained in the meantime, would I do it? And the answer is no. Since Jarrett's HIV positive, she's not taking PrEP for prevention. But she says her story is the reason why everyone should. You never know. I mean, that's one thing that my story shows. You never know whether you're at risk or not. For Robert Peterson, Dr. Lang, Damon Jacobs, and Martha Warner, one thing is known. PrEP is changing the game in preventing the spread of HIV. There's still no cure for HIV AIDS. There's still um, no vaccine against HIV AIDS. So our best hope of eradicating this virus is with PrEP. 
Now, Kern County Public Health officials, they told me they received a grant that allows them to hire what they call uh, prep navigators. These are people that go into the county. They help educate uh, local pharmacies and physicians on the use of the drug. Hmm. And, and in the package, it said that they were prep is for people who are 18 years and older. So it's only for adults. Yeah, Damon Jacobs, the prep educator in the story, when I when I interviewed him, he initially said it was for 18 years and older. But interestingly enough, on Tuesday of this week, the FDA, the FDA approved its use uh, in adolescence. Oh. Um, so that's, you know, that's something that is is new. Um, so now, like anything health related, we recommend that you consult a physician if you're considering prep as an option for you. And we're going to have more information. So turn to our website or head to our website at turn to 23.com. All right, All right Josh, Josh, thanks for that important story. Well, coming up next.